Um, how are you doing? It's uh, Saturday <laughs> and I'm going to be heading off to my co-working space in a minute. I um, had some time off last week, so I've got a bit of catch up to do. Um, so I'll be doing that over the weekend, but you know, all good. It's good to have the flexibility. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to hop on here very briefly and talk about something that's been coming up, this idea of brand aura. Um, it's just a term that's come out when I've been working with my clients and helping them with their social media. Um, and I think it's quite a useful concept. So kind of wanted to just explain it more. And I think the thing with social media, right, is that you are, people get tempted to put everything into every post. So there's a big list of pain points, there's a big list of what you do, there's a big list of the outcomes and, you know, just trying to kind of turn your organic post into a sales page, basically. Um, and it doesn't really work that way. So um, uh, if you're watching, say hi, <laughs> that would be nice. Um, so the, uh, I think a more useful way to think about it or approach it is that you're building up a picture of what you do. So each post is create, you know, is telling a little bit of that story. Um, and so that's the way that each post can just be focused on one thing. So you can talk about one pain point in one post, you can talk about how to work with you in another post, you can talk about, um, you know, where clients have ended up in a different post, you can talk about testimonials, you can share your backstory. So all the bits that come together to create your offer um, are their own little bits and together they are what create you, your, your offer or your service and essentially your brand. Um, at least in terms of, you know, how people perceive you through social media posts, if that makes sense. So if you think about it as a brand aura, then it's like it takes time to build up. It's kind of the way that people think and feel about you um, because they've been collecting all this information from you on a regular basis, processing it and kind of coming to a conclusion about what you do, and whether it's a good fit for them. Um, and, you know, it's the lens that your potential clients see you through and, you know, kind of like an aura, um, you know, it will attract or resonate with some people and other people won't dig it or, you know, God, I don't know where that came from, but, uh, you know, won't be into it for want of better words. So, um, and that's the job of marketing is to attract and repel. So I don't know if that helps. It seems to help the clients I've been working with as a way of framing it um, that you don't have to sh tell like nobody is going to buy from you or hire you off social media on the strength of one post that's pretty unlikely they're not going to just see one post and go oh my god that's got everything I need I want to work with this person who I don't know you know they're going to either follow you for a while they'll dig through they might scroll through you know it might take them long to make a decision but um you know, if you've got lots of stuff, they can read through it and go like, right, I get a sense of who this person is. They've covered all the points that are important to me. Yes, I want to reach out and work with them. Um, so if you think about it that way, you're just building up this picture. Um, it might take some of the pressure off that you're trying to cram everything and say everything every single time you post. One little piece at a time, just make it um, focused, make it good, make sure it's relevant and that it adds to the picture. Um, and then just be patient and give it time. Okay, have a good weekend. Apparently long weekend here in the UK. I have absolutely no idea. Makes no difference to us. Um, and also school goes back in 10 days. Very exciting. Okay, enjoy your weekend. Bye.